I'm pretty fascinated by light and how it interacts with objects and how it creates shadows and not just shadows but highlights and also texture. Light creates visible texture. So for those of you who don't understand what that means and you do have a flashlight or you've got a little flashlight on your phone, uh, if you're near carpet or anything rough, go ahead and lay on the floor real quick. Shine your flashlight straight down and notice how there is a certain amount of texture. As you do that, tilt your phone so or your flashlight, whatever your light source is, so that it becomes completely parallel with the floor. Try to skim the light across the surface. And when you do that, you'll find that there is a lot more texture that shows up. The reason for that is that texture casts shadows. And as light hits an object, depending on the direction that it's hitting it, it will reveal or hide texture. And that's why in portrait photography, we need to be careful with our lighting. Otherwise, you can make someone's skin look a lot more textured than it is. Uh, or, I mean, in a way, you're making it look as textured as it is, versus minimizing the texture. So the way a light source hits something makes a big difference on the appearance of texture. So with that, let's go ahead and create a shape here. I'm going to create a rectangle, a kind of tall rectangle here. And I'm going to get rid of the border. And I'm going to delete that. And now for my fill, I'm going to give it a forest green color. So I'm going to go in here and we'll go with that sort of green. Now, let's say that we want this to have sort of a gradation in color, darker at the bottom, lighter at the top, as if it's being struck by a light source. For those of you who notice the background, you may see this becoming a tree on a snowy hill, which it is. So now that we've got our green, I'm going to create another fill layer with a little plus sign next to fills. And this fill layer is going to be texture. And you'll find that the intensity is a bit too high. So I'm going to bring that down, give it a more subtle texture like so. And now I'm going to create a third fill layer. And this third fill layer is going to go from that same green, which we're going to find at the bottom because it's a recently used color, down to that same green. So green to green, except the second point is going to be reduced in opacity. So the opacity is below the spectrum of color here, the hue. We're going to bring this little slider down so that way the texture shows through. So we've essentially created a sandwich here where we've got a base color, we've got texture on top of it, and then we've got that base color laid on top of the texture so that way the texture isn't as prominent at the top where it's being hit by more light and it is more prominent at the bottom where the light is more so skimming it. So now I'm gonna hit return to edit the shape. I'm gonna delete the top left point and create a triangle. I'm gonna click away and now that we're out of editing mode, I'm gonna option drag this to create several more of them in sort of a downward motion and three should be good and then I'm going to select all three of these option drag them to the right give it a two finger click and then I'm going to flip horizontal and now that I've done that I've got sort of a Christmas tree thing going on except somehow it ended up being off by one pixel so I'll nudge that up oh that's weird it's uh, maybe off by half a pixel so that's going to take some investigating or we could zoom in maybe it's just yep it was just an anomaly of the way I was zoomed so now everything looks lined up pretty well so we could give that a trunk or we could call it a day because uh, I think you guys get the point this subtle texture here can allow you to create layered 3D depthy drawings and uh, it kind of has that South Park like uh, textured nature to it so I hope you guys like this tutorial if you do please subscribe if you haven't already I will have more cool stuff coming